everyone. Welcome to our online Sunday School program part 2. I am teacher Joanna and along with me I have Master Joshu. Hello kids! And teacher Angela. Hi! So before we begin, let us all pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given to us. Lord, thank you that even though we are not together, Lord, but through this uh, media, we are together and we are doing our Sunday school. Lord, I pray and I commit whatever we learn today into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So kids, do you remember what we learned last week? Teachers, do you remember what we learned last week? I do. It's about creation. Yes, it's about creation. So isn't God so wonderful? He created yes. this universe. He created you. He created me. me. And he also loves you, you. and he loves us. Yes. All of us. So let us sing a song. And what is the song called? Isn't the love of God so very wonderful? Right. So kids, let's join us to sing this song. Two, three. Isn't the love of God so very wonderful? Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, isn't the love of God so very wonderful? Wonderful is love to me. It's so high, you can't get over it so low. You can't get under it so wide. You can't get around it. Wonderful is love to me. All right, so God. Love is so wonderful. It's for you, it's for me, it's for everyone. Do you remember the song that Teacher Eden and Master Gashish sang last week? I about the creation? It was about the creation, creation yes. about the flowers, yes, the, flowers yes. the fish, the butterfly. Can we sing that song again, please? Yes. Okay. Yes. So kids, we'll sing that song again. So why don't we all stand up as we sing this song? Two, three. Who did make the flowers to grow? Flowers to grow, flowers to grow. Who did make the flowers to grow? God in heaven above. Who did make the butterflies? Butterflies, butterflies. Who did make the butterflies? God in heaven above. Who did make the birds to fly? Birds to fly, birds to fly. Who did make the birds to fly? God in heaven above Who did make the fish to swim Fish to swim Fish to swim Who did make the fish to swim God in heaven above Who did make the stars to shine Stars to shine Stars to shine Who did make the stars to shine God in heaven above Who did make you and I you and me, you and me, who did make you and me, God in heaven above. Yay, God made all of us and he loves us very much. Yes. I think last week we were given a memory verse, right? Yes. yes. But I don't remember. Do me you? Too. I didn't learn. Do you? Um, Some kids, they learn it. They did? Yeah, they send their videos. Oh, wow. Wow. So, let's watch. 127. So God created men in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Genesis 127. God created men in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. 127. So God created human beings, making them to, look, to be like Himself. He created them male and female. 1 verse 27 So God created mankind in His own image. In His own image He created He them. Male and female He created them. Today our story is about David and Goliath. So let's see what the story is about. So as you can see, it's called David and Goliath. So the story begins. One day, young David was looking after the sheep when he heard his father calling. Take this bread and cheese to your brothers, said his father. David's three older brothers were away fighting in King Saul's army. Taking the bundle, David set off at once. 
So this is David and that is his father and he's taking the bundle to his brothers who are fighting in the army. King Saul's army was camped on a hillside. On the other hillside, the Philistine army had gathered. It was an amazing sight. David searched along the lines of King's soldiers. He soon found his three brothers. So this is the armies and David is looking for his brothers. Just then, a giant soldier stepped forward from the Philistine army. He was so tall and towered over everyone else. He roared, I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? Not one of King Saul's soldiers replied. They were all afraid. The soldiers talked among themselves. The king will give a big prize to whoever kills this mighty giant, Goliath, they said. What's going on? Young David asked his brothers. It's nothing to do with you, they said. You are just a boy. Go home and look after the sheep. But David did not go home. He went to see King Saul in his tent. I will fight the giant, said David. But you are just a boy. And he is mighty giant, said the king. I have killed a lion and a bear that tried to attack my sheep, said David. I was not afraid because God looked after me. King Saul gave David a helmet, armor and a sword. David put them on. They were too big. He tried walking around the tent. I can't wear this. He said, I'm not used to them. He took them off again. Because David was a little boy, the armor was too heavy for him. Instead, David took his sling and his pouch and went down to the stream. There he found five smooth stones and put them in his pouch. My sling was all I needed to fight the lion and the bear, he said. God will look after me. David went down to meet Goliath. The giant towered over him. He roared, I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? I am, answered David. Will you fight me with that stick? Sneezed Goliath. Goliath was angry. Goliath lumbered towards David. David grabbed a stone from his pouch and put it in his sling. Goliath waved his sword in the air. David let the stone fly through the air. The stone hit Goliath in the middle of his forehead. He crashed to the ground. You can see Goliath falling to the ground. King Saul's army cheered. The mighty Goliath is dead, they cried. The Philistine army ran away, chased by King Saul's soldiers. Young David was a hero. So kids, that's the end of our story. It's the story about David and Goliath. David was a little boy, but he was able to defeat a giant who was very big, tall and powerful. So kids, you can also defeat giants in your life. If there is a problem that you are facing through, always know that God is with you and he will get you through these problems. So now kids, we'll do an art and craft. Have you ever wondered how did David make his sling? So we will see what and how he made it. Goliath thought he was a giant, big giant man, but he forgot two important things. God is stronger than anything, anyone, and David had God on his side. So the memory verse for today will be, the battle is Lord's. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. So now we're going to do our art and craft. So with me, I have five stones, I have three ice block sticks and glue. So see, as you see, I have already tied the sling here. So let's paste it. We put the glue on the stick. Stick it. 
it like this and now we stick the stones put the glue on the stone one and the second stone and the third stone the fourth one and the fifth stone so kids god helped david fight the giant and he will also help you so if you have any problem any um difficulties do not fear anybody because god is always with us he's there to fight our battle so, so i hope you will try this at home and you're going to take a video of this saying your memory verse and holding your art and craft with you and send a video to us now let's sing one song how did david kill goliath how did david kill goliath how did david kill goliath how did he kill the giant did he run no no did he cry no no did he fear no 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 use the spear no no how did he kill the giant he put a little rock on a sling 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 and he let it go with a swing 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 and he hit the giant upon the head that's how he killed the giant Yay. all right kids we hope that you enjoyed our program today and remember if there's a problem that you are facing in life if there's a giant in your life you can always uh, face it with the help of god right teachers right. right okay kids don't forget to do your artwork learn your memory verse and send us your videos see you all next week bye, bye.